everyone. Today we're talking about an interesting case that I think many of us could relate at some point in some way, maybe not exactly in the same way this person is, but um, some aspects of it could be something that um, we have dealt with at some point. So this is a woman that contacted me because she is having a situation where she doesn't feel that in any of the relationships that she has been in the last few years, she has been taken seriously. So she doesn't feel that her energy, is, the energy that she's projecting is the right energy or so there is something wrong in her that is sending this message to all the people that she meets that she's not a marriage material or she's not someone to be taken seriously. And um, that's what she thinks and that's what is happening now. The people that she's been dating, they don't really last long or they don't treat her well. Things just don't work out. Things don't seem to work out ever with anyone. And um, so she's trying to find out if there's something wrong in her, something that she's projecting out there saying, you know, this is, uh, you know, I am not worthy. And uh, I said, you know, maybe let's take a look and let's see what is in the discordant energies or the in the uh, trapped emotions section and let's see what you're projecting because that's what we are projecting everything that is in the closet there that is our trapped emotions that's what comes out so we did the soul restructuring we went through the process of uh, activating the main purpose and then we went through the soul restructuring portion and uh, i was able to find that throughout her life she had accumulated several um several discordant energies, but most of them were in the element of water. So there was a lot of water imbalance in her, which makes her very sensitive. And what happens? Our soul doesn't really see faces or, or nose uh, statuses or anything, you know, our soul only sees elements. So our soul knows that we have an imbalance in the element of water and it's looking for something or someone out there that can balance that element. So the people that she has been attracting is the opposite to her. It's are people that are in abundance of water element when she has a lack of it or the opposite. And it's, just, it's usually people that have the opposite effect to the water element imbalance. So what happens is people are completely non-sensitive, are very not interested in love, are people that are just completely in denial of love and where she is completely sensitive looking for love looking for to be loved and that's the that's the situation that many of us encounter sometimes especially those in the with the balances of the water element so we were able to release those discordant energies but there is something else that stayed you know still continues to be there something that has to be considered and this is something that i, I had not thought about before because I was just looking at the elements, but then, you know, in, in this case, I had to take a uh, bigger look at the situation that was happening. What else had happened in all these years, you know, the person is already 35 years old. Um, so what else happened during her whole life living with an imbalance in the water element? Everything else that she does, the, the, where she, the way she treats her own body, the way that she talks, the way that she dresses, the way that she eats, everything is reflecting that imbalance. And that has already became, has already become a, a habit. So it has already become a habit that needs to be restructured as well. So what happens? So now we're not only dealing with habits in the level of behavior, but also in things that we are taking for granted, like things that we do every day. So. Ideally, with the balance that we do, those things start to reflect in, in the way that you do things, but you need to also proactively take a look at the things that you're doing. What else are you doing that is reflecting that imbalance? The way that you're projecting yourself to others is going to mean, is going to scream, I have an imbalance in the element of water, air, earth, fire, and that is going to be projected and that's what the other side is going to be receiving. So we have to do a conscious effort after we have balanced our elements to also restructure everything else that we are doing and making sure that we're not acting out of habit but acting out of being ourselves. 
So it is important that we establish that communication with our core, who we are, who is this person, like who am I, who am I really, how do I really feel when I'm not in front of all my filters, when I am alone and I can express myself, what, what, what is really something that calls me, like where do I feel any sort of identification with something. So that's something that we need to explore and we need to make sure that we get to that core, to that seed, to the center of who we are in order to find its essence and identify everything else that we're doing that is not. So this is something that happens usually when we are able to get to the level of awareness. It's a point in which you have some sort of light or enlightenment or consciousness where you can feel that everything is just perfect in that second. You can probably get to this level in many ways. There is a lot of literature out there and I myself I'm going to start uh, teaching this seminar soon where how you can reach this level of awareness. But you can practice breathing, you can practice meditation, you can practice many different ways of getting to this place where it feels whole, where it feels completely safe. And that level you can be yourself, you can express how, try to think from that place, how would you express yourself from that place? How would you talk to others? How would you like to be treated? How would you like to dress? How would you like to change your, the way that you dress, uh, the way that you eat, the way that you um, have managed this far, your health? How do you, everything from that point, from that level, and see how it would be different from what is happening now is the only way to get to the center, to the core of who you really are and to separate that from what is a habit now and what needs to be changed consciously. So this is not just a work of the soul and all the etheric aspects. It also has to be a work of something physical, in the physical level of uh, our existence. We need to be, make sure that we are also reflecting the changes and that we have done in our restructuring in the physical level. So that's an um, interactive um, job because you know it's not to the fault of anyone, but habits happen when things are just too long happening and we're going through this filter for our entire lives, then we think that's the way that we are, that's our personality, but no, that's not our personality, that's just us acting through the filters. It's not such thing as a personality that is there is such thing as just knowing yourself and then from there you can act in different ways you don't have to say oh that's my personality and that's it this is probably not the best way to see things because everything changes in the universe so so you can do the same okay very good so i hope that this gave some light to the to this topic of uh, being worthy or this and that it's not about not being worthy it's about finding yourself and eliminating the filters, eliminating the imbalance in your elements so you're not attracting the people with the opposite imbalance that are um, living the opposite thing that you are because it's just a perfect balance. Everything in the universe is looking to be balanced. Everything in the universe is looking, everything in nature is trying to balance. So if you find something that is in excess of some, of some element, that something is going to look for some other half that is in has less of the elements so when they're together they're in perfect balance it just makes sense for nature to do that but it doesn't really work like that in our level we know that um, you know we have to deal with those uh, relationships and they don't really work that well so our best bet is to balance our elements and then the people that we're going to attract in our life for all kinds of relationships will be other people who are also balanced and they don't need to take anything from us, we don't need to take anything from them, so we can be in harmony in a relationship with them and with ourselves. Okay, very good, I hope um, this was helpful. And feel free to email me with any questions. My direct uh, email is info at healersofthelight.com. Thank you very much. And don't, uh, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter so you can receive the new videos, webinars, and blogs. Thank you.